Hey everybody, looks into Swirl here. New day, new cut project. All right, this is one I've had in the back of my mind and been planning to do for quite a while now, and it just kept getting put aside as other ideas would come to mind and sort of jump the line. But I am going to do this today, dang it. So what I'm gonna do is basically a mica in resin clean pour on a tumbler. You may have heard the term dirty pour, you may have heard the term clean pour. Clean pour is one color at a time. Dirty pour is you take all the colors and you layer them into a single cup, and then you pour from that. that that makes it dirty. So we're not gonna do a dirty pour because in my mind, resin likes to blend too much. If I put the colors all together into one single cup and then pour that, there will be a lot of blending going on. And that might result in a beautiful tumbler. I don't know. We may try that down the road. If you're interested in seeing me do that, let me know in the comments. But today I'm gonna do a clean pour, meaning one color at a time. I have eight colors chosen here. I have the Lanai Hawaii Purple Sunrise from Mr. Nola's Glitter. I have from Crafter's Choice, which is from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I have Super Sparkle Light Gold, Turquoise Teal, Banana Boat Yellow, Baby Grasshopper Green. And from Woody's Goodies, I have Barbie Rainbow Blue. That is so pretty. And Purple Monster. And my thoughts in picking out these colors were, it's winter, it's dark, it's dreary, it's gray, it's dead, and I want color back in my life already. So if I can't have it outside the window, I will put it in a cup. And I have also positioned the cup into a silicone tray so that we don't lose any resin. We will end up with a cup and a tray. I'm gonna mix up 15 ounces of resin. So the resin I'm gonna use for this project is KS Liquid Stone. This is not the Ultra UV, this is just KS Liquid Stone. We're gonna color the resin so it doesn't need to have the ultra UV protectants to keep the white white because there won't be any white. Stay tuned and enjoy the show.
we're back. Okay, I think this turned out great. I love, I love how this looks. I'm gonna leave it in the mold because I wanna pour another layer. If I break the seal to take this out, then we'll have problems. I'm just gonna leave it in there. And then this, I have to get, I have to get this off. I'm gonna unwrap the stand first. This is a nonstick baking sheet, so I'm not particularly worried. Sometimes I have to use a uh, um, box cutter or a razor blade to, to get the resin off, but it comes off. There we go. Now we can get the cup out. Doesn't that look gorgeous? I think it's interesting. <laughs> After all the resin I poured on, I mean, this was almost 15 ounces. I had a little extra. I put that in an overflow mold I'm using. I really didn't need any more on the cup, but even so, some of the white paint is showing through. And I don't mind that. Honestly, when we put more resin over top, this will just look like lacing. I think that's kind of cool looking. Up here, of course, we have our, our drips. I will start by taking a box cutter and cutting all the drips off. We can take a Dremel to it, and I'll show you how to do that as well. Let's see if I can do it with a craft knife first. I need to kind of hold it close to me for leverage, but... So this could take off the majority of it, and then I'll still show you the Dremeling. Okay, here we are out in the sunshine on the deck, because I don't want to be breathing this in. I have my Dremel that's also designed as a dog, possibly cat, but mostly dog claw sharp, oh, not sharpener, <laughs> filer. And anything that isn't smooth at this point, I can take a sanding block too, but that looks pretty good. Okay, quick side note. I got the stand out, unwrapped it. So now there's just this, and I wanted to show you. Now we'll see if I can do it. Having told you that this will work, we'll just find out. It may not, but I should be able to. Voila! If I had a reason to save this now, I could. I could save the bits that don't have plastic embedded in them. And they're nice and bendy right now, so let's just, let's just cut this out. I'll save that. Don't know why, but it's pretty. Seems a shame to waste it, doesn't it? Maybe I can embed pieces of it in something else at some future project. There we go. Okay, and now back to the rest of the video. Okay, it took me a while to figure out what to put on the cup, but I sanded down just a little bit of it here because I think I'm going with a vinyl sticker. This is the Neato brand that I like so much, and I have this graphic from a wonderful artist on Etsy, so I decided to use it. So it says, life is like candy. Sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it makes you choke. That's how life is. <laughs> and I'm just going to place it on here like that. And there it is. I am gonna finish this with a layer of uh, KS Resin Liquid Stone Ultra UV. I am going to put rainbow alcohol ink in it because I want sparkles on the front of the label as well as all over the cup. I'm gonna mix up a little extra because I wanna fill this in and finish the tray as well and then we can have them both at the end to, to see. We're back. Look how beautiful these are. I am so happy with how this cup looks. Look at how gorgeous. We will do the big finale out in the sunshine the next time we get some sunshine. <laughs> we are in a serious gray funk right now. I want to demold this and see how the other side looks. This is very, very, pr I love this side. I mean, this, this would be perfect just like this. Beautiful, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I love how the gold is, is showing throughout, but I still like this side better. <laughs> so next shots you see will be outside in the sunshine.